QX, man. This your boy, Mr. Beef and Backyard Barbecue. Check it out, man. As y'all can see, I got Big Red going right now. Um, we're going to put on two slabs of baby backs right now in a few minutes. Uh, we're going to go inside. I'm going to show you what I'm putting on it. We're going to get greasy. I'm going to show you. This is stuff that you just normally keep in the kitchen. Well, I'll take that back. I actually went to the Dominican Republic a little while ago and I uh, copped a couple seasonings and I got one of Weber's seasoning I'm going to use on one of the ribs. So stay tuned for that. Um, Let's go. I'm going to talk about this real quick. Smokeware.com. If you have uh, uh, one of these, a Kamado, make sure you get you one of these. This, this little rinky dink thing here that's supposed to hold the smoke and everything like this, I found myself, this is how you get your low and slow, right? You just sit this right over, over the fire and it's got a gap, probably a quarter inch gap that the smoke comes out of, works perfectly. However, you have drippings that fall on this. So I was using an aluminum pan and we all know most of them are not round or perfectly shaped. Smokeware.com, um, I'm, I'm not affiliated with them, but I wanted something that was easy to clean. This thing, as you can see, I already used it once. It fits perfectly over this, as you can see. 18 inch one, costs a little dollars now. Um, not much, less than $50, but uh, and it sits right over it. I just clean it out. Once I stick this on, I stick this on top. Catch all my drippings, man. I don't have to worry about the messy cleanup. So I was using aluminum for. But anyway, running my mouth. Uh, yeah, once this gets going, y'all can see the smoke going once it, it gets caught up. We're going to use hickory today. Um, that's all I got. I do have a couple chunks of cherry, but I'm not using that today. We're going to go with this hickory. And I'm going to show y'all a trick to get your ribs red, y'all. No wrapping today. Five hours, four and a half, five hours, and we're going to be done. See you in the kitchen. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we're back, man. These are the tools that we are using today. Actually, let me put the two pack that I got from Costco. I mean not Costco, Sam's. You can see the members mark and that's 15, almost $16. That's about eight dollars. A little less than eight dollars a slab for some baby backs, y'all. So I got my handy dandy mustard that's going on both. I'm using KC barbecue rub. That tastes pretty good on ribs, so we're gonna do that on one. And I got something when I was in Dominican Republic uh, recently. Uh, the Sazon. And yeah, fill in the blank with what that means. But anyway, we're going to try them on the other one. Of course, I'm going to taste it before I uh, put it on my... It says adobo. And if you know anything about adobo, uh, you know it's the bacon. So we're going to try that. Like I said, mustard on both. I'm not going to let you sit here and watch me lather it up um kc rub only on one and we're gonna do this i'm gonna show you a trick too with paprika we're gonna pap put paprika on all uh, both of these i don't have them i gotta go to the store and get it but that is the key ingredient to making anything chicken or ribs look reddish in color and it's a perfect presentation so y'all stay tuned i'm gonna go ahead and put these in now oh i got my saran wrap so once i'm done i'm gonna wrap them up in saran wrap sit them on this this uh whatever you want to call it, a little tray or whatever. We're going to let them breathe in the uh, refrigerator for a little while until it's time to crank up Big Red. We'll be back, y'all. Just we back at it before we get started. A couple things, man. It's about 50 degrees out here. I think it may be about 53 now. Okay. Note to the wise get your Thermo Pro, Thermo Pen, rather. Link in the description. Paprika. This is what I was talking about, y'all. Paprika. This right here? No, no. This is all I had. I don't like using smoked paprika because it does have a hint of flavor or the smoke flavor. But as you can see, I'm gonna show it to you real quick before I put them on. Uh, hopefully you can see that. You see the reddish color? That's the key, man. That's the key. Don't worry about the mustard flavor on now. It's not a flavor, it's just a binder that holds my uh, seasoning together. And we're gonna throw these things on and get to it. Real simple. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these on 
We're gonna put them on for about four and a half, five hours. Straight heat. Obviously, I got that hickory on there. We're gonna go from there. Keyword here, hickory. Um, and smoke, smoke paprika this time. But if you got paprika in there, that's what I choose to use because it doesn't really have a flavor and it gives it that reddish color, especially in chicken. Just try it on some chicken, y'all. Anyway, uh, stay tuned. I got some more stuff coming for y'all. Stay tuned, y'all. All right, my good people, we back, man. It's been about the two hour mark. All I want to do is check these out and see what they look like. Temperatures feel pretty good. Oven around 250, just where I want it. Normally it's about 275, but I think the pores from the uh, inside of the grill, you can see it's good and black. Season, actually, let me let you get a look at this. So you see what that paprika does. You see that? That's that reddish color. Presentation. Even if your food don't taste good, especially if you into uh, uh, cooks, competition cooks, trying to win them over with the color, or uh, the presentation, not even the color, the presentation. That color right there, that mahogany, that cherry, red, can't beat it. Not smoke pack paprika, y'all. So this two hours, I'm gonna go ahead and close my lid because I got ways to go. Uh, we're gonna let it run. I put water in my pan, so I'm not gonna spritz it. Uh, I'm trying something different just to see how they come out, see if they come out good and tender, moist, or if they are actually dry and tight. Uh, there's ways to fix that, especially with a uh, baby bag. But anyway, uh, we're going to let this run. I'm going to open it up a little bit just because I had the lid open. Hey, we're good, y'all. We'll see you back in about mm, one hour. Hey, better yet, two hours because I'm not spritzing, so I don't have to come back every hour now. So we'll see you in two hours, y'all, at the four-hour mark. We back y'all, it's hungry man, you see, I threw a couple chunks of that, that uh, hickory back in now. This is about 275 right now, this chicken mac. So y'all, this is how you keep that red color. Simple y'all, simple. Mm-hmm. And this is, oh, come on, zoom in. There you go. This is with the uh, smoked paprika. Like I said, I don't like using it, but I'm using it just because I'm trying something different. And that's what I had in the kitchen, uh, in, the, in the pantry. But anyway, this is at the four hour mark. Uh, I'm gonna let this thing sit probably, I'm gonna let it run. I'm gonna let it run because I want it to get a little tender more tender, maybe an hour, hour and a half. But anyway, stay tuned for the final results, y'all. See you on your way. All right, good people. We back. It's been about, actually, five and a half hours. We about to take them off regardless of what they look like. Actually, I'm going to give you a close-up first. Let's go ahead and karate chop. Crack that lid. Oh, wow. Y'all a close-up. Yeah. No sauce, no wrapping. I think next time I'm gonna wrap them, but I was just doing a test. I'm gonna see how tender they all gonna go in. So stay tuned. Hey, I know I mentioned uh, going to DR uh, a couple weeks back. I'm gonna post a video of some stuff I saw in transit. I stopped in Miami and then uh, I did. I went to DR. So stay tuned for that. But anyway, I'm gonna take these off. Oh yeah, I know they. I know they tender because they falling apart right now. Look at that bean. Look at that bean. Tinder. Hey, real quick before we go in. There's a reason why you spend money on equipment like this, right? It's because when it's cold out, it's warmed up a little bit. I took my sweat off. Um, but I literally went out here the amount of times you see me on video. Other than that, I've been watching football. Getting ready for the 49ers play Dallas tonight. So you already know who I'm rooting with, the 49ers. I will be at the game next week in Cleveland. So if you, you see me on TV, give me a shout out. Um, but anyway, this thing purrs like a champ. That's the reason why I kind of left my other one, the uh, my Lowe's model downstairs. And I really use this one because I don't really have to do much. And I can enjoy the festivities and people and things like that. But anyway, 
I'm gonna send you on your way. I'm gonna take this inside. We're gonna cut it real quick. And I'm gonna show you what we got. And we're gonna send it on your way, y'all. Stay tuned.